finally, Starlink is in Australia. And those who love adventures and a caravan lifestyle can enjoy satellite internet anywhere they go. However, Starlink is not 100% reliable. If it's a hot day and you want to hide your caravan in the shade, you may experience dropouts due to the trees being in the way. The connection may also be interrupted by buildings, the positioning of the satellite, or bad weather. So, how to make Starlink an even better solution when more reliable connectivity is needed? My name is Tom, I'm a solution manager at Powertech and today I'll show you how to combine Starlink with 5G and other connections. So Starlink has so many benefits. If you see this guy, you can get internet. Their plans have unlimited data and the internet is fast, 200 meg per second. However, for all the reasons mentioned earlier, it can be hard to expect a reliable internet connection 100% of the time. If you rely on the internet for your work or your child's homeschooling, we have some solutions that can support your Starlink dish and ensure you always stay connected even when there are Starlink dropouts. So let's say you and the family are on a new adventure, caravanning through the Northern Territory. You have a very important meeting to attend to for your work, and you need to your Zoom app to stay stable and smooth. That's where Peplink comes in. So in addition to your Starlink dish, you can use BR2 Pro Bonding Router along with a Pepwave 42G antenna. Now the Pepwave 42G antenna will pull cellular coverage from your nominated network providers such as Optus, Vodafone, Telstra. And what it does is it creates a failover from the Starlink to the SIM service to delivering reliable 4G or 5G foundation service. BR2 Pro Bonding Router then connects your Starlink dish and the Pepwave antenna and you ensure that you don't have any experiences with dropouts, meshing the two services seamlessly. So the awesome thing is that modems like Peplink will let you set everything to auto and then it just works. When Starlink's performance isn't up to par, you can designate priority traffic through other WANs so ongoing applications don't suffer. This is the only one of many different solutions that you can use to support your Starlink performance. In the next series, we'll explore how to bond multiple Starlink connections to create an unbreakable high-speed network, how to support Starlink in maritime setup, get a reliable connection if you do work from home, and ensure your large block of land gets connectivity in every corner. So if you have any questions, guys, please leave them below and we'll get back to you. Otherwise, stay connected, stay tuned by subscribing to the social media channels for more info and head to powertech.com.au to place your order. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.